emerges through the power of the divine love. You see, faith is not merely a concept or a belief. Faith is not something intangible. We have this idea in Western society that ideas like trust and faith and confidence are just concepts, mental ideas. This is the problem. Faith is not just an idea. It's not just a word. It is a substance. Substance? It is matter and energy. Who else said that? We're talking about faith at the tantric level. Faith is not just an idea, something to aspire towards, or a label. Faith is a substance that has to be created. And faith is created through bodhicitta, through our sexual waters. And the creation of faith is a power of the Divine Mother. That's why faith, pain, is represented as a woman who accompanies Don't think that just because you've read a book and you liked it, that now you have faith. This is wrong thinking. Don't think that just because you've attended a school for 10 years or 15 or 20 or 30 or 40 years, that now you have faith. This is wrong. Faith is not something that you get just by reading a book or by attaching a label to yourself. Saying, well, now I'm a Buddhist, so I have faith in Buddha. This is wrong. What do you have to believe? Belief is fine. But belief is not faith. Faith is a substance. Substance. It is energy. Faith is the soul itself. If we wonder why we've been... Who else said <clears throat> that faith is a substance? Joseph Smith did. One of the articles of faith said, Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Smith and this guy, whoever this guy is, are the only two persons or organizations that I've ever known or heard, heard of, that says faith is a substance. It's really brilliant. Such butterflies fluttering from school to school and religion to religion and political party to political party, or from teacher to teacher, it's because we do not have faith. What we have is belief. We call it faith, but it's really belief. We go into a new group or a new school, and we become very enthusiastic, and we say we have faith. It is not faith. It is belief. Faith has to be made, and you have to know how to make it. It is made through the power of the Divine Mother. But the problem is that the potential to create faith, which is in our waters, is this very same potential to create suffering. In our waters, our sexual waters, is the power of creation. This is why, on the basis of all religions, it was always expressly required. Neophytes, beginners, must restrain the sexual force and learn how to use it. In all cases, in all religions. But Can unfortunately, now very days, true. most religions have lost the science, the exact knowledge of how to take that sexual matter and make it into pure faith. Instead,